the latest update, uh, as you all are aware, uh, we had a shooting uh, Sunday night, uh, which was January 29th. Uh, shortly after uh, 10 o'clock, uh, we got a call here at our dispatch that an individual had been shot and was laying in the road on South Hillsboro near Amber K. Our deputies arrived on scene in about five minutes. Uh, we confirmed that there was an individual that was shot, uh, hence the investigation began. Our detectives have been working tirelessly, uh, securing search warrants as well as securing arrest warrants for the two suspects. Um, and again, we were uh, looking for all the help we could from the community as well as y'all uh, to put the word out. But just a few minutes ago, uh, the two suspects were, uh, came in and voluntarily turned themselves in, which is a uh, great news for our community to keep everybody safe and great news for the family as well. And just most, what's most important, our hearts and prayers go out to the family of the uh, victim as well as the victim uh, right now. So we just want to keep them in our thoughts and our prayers. Uh, and also uh, the good work of our detectives uh, bringing all of this, all of the facts together so we could uh, move forward with arrest warrants. As of right now, do we know what charges they're facing? Right now, what I can say, since they just turned themselves in, we had active warrants for attempted murder on both of the individuals. You know, 13 and 19 years old, was the victim young as well? Uh, the victim right now, the age uh, was uh, in the 20s. Uh, any idea that they knew each other, had familiarities? Uh, right now, uh, all the different preliminary information, obviously we'll be concluding the investigation with the arrest, so some of those particulars I don't know at the top of my head right now. Any information on the victim, if he's still in the hospital, if he has serious injuries? As far as I know, the victim is still in the hospital. Do we have an age, gender? And again, that, that's just a victim that I can identify. Is there any connection between the victim and, and the suspects? And again, a good review and a preliminary look at the reports uh, to give a good answer. We'll do a follow-up press release okay. in regard to that. And lastly, are the suspects related? I know they, they came in, in a car together. Uh, to my understanding, they are related, yes. Uh, you know, 13 and 19 years old, what are your thoughts on some people so young being involved in something so violent? Well, when we, when we look at our, our younger folks today, they see a lot of different things that are out there, and we're looking for uh, everyone to be good leaders. Uh, if you're an adult, uh, be a good mentor, be a good leader, uh, because we have uh, individuals that are led astray. And at some point in their lifetime, they may have been led astray. But we also have individual responsibilities to do the right thing. And there's a certain age where they're about 12, 10 years old. We all know what is right and wrong. And we should, we all have responsibility to do what is right and not pursue something that is wrong. Do they have any priors? To the best of my knowledge, I can't say I don't want to speak to that. This is, I'm sorry, they said they're both 13 and 19? The two? Yes. One, one suspect is 13 and one suspect is 19. So will, one, will they get treated differently Excuse me, because of their ages? Well, the, uh, the charge is attempted murder, uh, so they're both being treated right now. They're being booked in as adults right now. Where that will go from there after first appearance, we'll see. Um, I'm sorry, I just lost my uh, You guys had mentioned in your release on Facebook that at the su Sunday, you had not found the weapon involved. Have you guys located that? Did they bring it for you guys? Can you say? Uh, that, that is correct. That's what we said. So right now, that, that part of that investigation will continue on. So hopefully we'll be able to locate that firearm. Lastly, I know this is a tight-knit community. I mean, how has this been? Well, well, it always it has apprehension. Uh, individuals are, always feel safe here in DeSoto County or a small community. Uh, lots of good people that live here. Uh, so it, 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 it can knock you off just a little bit. So, but what's important for the public to know right now is that these individuals now or in our custody, and that the beginning of that process, the judicial process, will continue on. But what's important, they're in custody now. So. Thank you so much. And you said it was Southeast Hillsboro and what was across the street? Uh, near Amber K. Near Amber K. Got it. Cool. Anything else we missed? No, thank you so much for sharing the information earlier that we put out on our social media post, and, and thank you for coming up to talk to us today.